how to write a business plan to start a business. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to write a business plan. This is Entrepreneurship 101. When you have the wrong business plan, your business is guaranteed to fail. And over the years, I've developed a three-step business plan that guarantees success. I've launched business after business with it, and these businesses are still putting money in my pocket today. And they've weathered the test of time and they're still going strong. What you need is three pieces of paper. I'm gonna ask you a few simple questions. They're gonna force feed the correct answers to you to give you a business plan that's gonna guarantee success for your business. My name is Nick Hill, and this channel is all about showing you the skills to make money for real, like for real because it doesn't matter if I have a Lamborghini in my garage, the only thing that matters is putting one in your garage. I've been in business for over a decade, selling real products to real people. That was before I've given anyone any business advice. I want you to comment below right now. Let me know how much money you wanna make with your new business. Do it right now while the intro plays. If you want to start winning in life, in business, you, need to become a success. The world can be tough. It will test you. It will make you question yourself. But it has never been easier to be inspired, connect with the right people, get insider knowledge, overcome all struggles and self-doubt, transform and win bigger than ever. My name is Nick Hill. I've had over a billion views to my websites and brands. I've become the master of building online businesses. I did it all from my bedroom. It wasn't always so easy. A few years ago, I was in debt and I questioned if I would ever make it. I fought back and used the knowledge I learned from my mentors to build my online empire. And now I'm doing better than ever. I've created this channel to pass along my secrets. So subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing. It's time to make your dream into a reality. This is winning. If you like my videos, if you like what I'm wearing, if you like that the sky is blue, go ahead, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, I read the comments, get the word out there, anything you can do Please do it, I really do appreciate it. When I started my business, I started with no skills, no money, and I really credit my ability to have a business that was successful by having a correct business plan. I'm gonna give you the three-step business plan you need to be successful. Why do you need a business plan? Well, if you don't have a good business plan, you don't know where you're going. It's kind of like driving from New York City to Los Angeles without a roadmap. Sure, you could get there, but it's a gamble. And you know what? Since the statistics say that 90% of businesses fail, I can bet that you're going to fail. So that's why it's a very important to have the right roadmap. And I'm going to give you a series of questions that you can ask yourself that will give you the right roadmap that will become as close to possible as a way to succeed as there is. Now, I've done this many times, so I know it's gonna work. And a lot of stuff out there is just not accurate. It's giving you the wrong map. Let's get right to these questions. I want you to get a piece of paper, actually get three pieces of paper, because you're gonna need to do these three sections. So let's get right to section one. Step one, this is the research section. Take your first piece of paper and I want you to answer this first question. What type of business are you doing? Go ahead and answer that question. Ask yourself, what type of business are you doing? Do it right now. Next question, and this is even far more important because you might have been wrong before. You might think you're doing something, but in reality, you're doing something else. We're going to get to that and why that can make you successful. I want you to answer the question, who are your top competitors? This is going to help you with your research, because guess what? Your competitors have already done all of the homework. 
They already know how to get customers. They already know what their customers want. They already know what to sell to their customers, what type of marketing to do, any sort of question that some other guru might have said, write this down in a business plan and think about it and guess. Guess what? You don't have to think about it. All you have to do is ask yourself, who are your top competitors? And then we're gonna look at what they're doing. This is very important. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. And if you're sitting there saying, that's great, Nick, I have no competitors, go ahead, comment below, tell me that you have no competitors, don't subscribe to this channel because my advice is useless. Guess what? If you have no competitors, you've already won. You are about to make a billion dollars or a million dollars. Either that or you have the worst idea ever and no business plan is going to possibly work. I can't tell you that. I'm not a fortune teller. Write down if you have competitors who are the top competitors, or if you don't have competitors, congratulations, you're either in the best spot or the world's worst spot. Next, step two. I want you to take your second sheet of paper and write step two on it. What are your competitors selling? Write that down. Go research it. Check it out because they've already determined the type of products. Now you don't have to think about what products to sell. Maybe you have a good idea, but maybe you need more ideas. Your competitors who are still in business will have already done all the hard work for you. So all you have to do is ask what products they're selling. This is really important. The next question you have to think about, why are your competitors selling these products? Like, why are people buying these products from the competitors? Because if you have the exact same product as a competitor, you're gonna have to win somehow. So how are you gonna win? Are you gonna win because there's no competition and you're the first person to do it and you have no competitors? Congratulations, we like to call this first mover advantage. Do you have first mover advantage? I don't know, if you do and there's no one in your market, like I said before, you either are about to become a millionaire in a very short amount of time, or you're about to go broke because you have a terrible idea. First mover advantage is great, but it doesn't exist that often. So what are some other things that you need to think about? You need to think about how you're going to beat out the competition if you don't have first mover advantage. Are you going to win on authority and influence? What does that mean? Maybe you have competitors, but they're really bad at getting the word out. Like they're not famous, their business is not famous. Think of it this way. If you're a plastic surgeon, that's great. You're a surgeon, people come to you. Say someone else is a celebrity plastic surgeon. Say they have the world's biggest YouTube channel. They rank number one in all the places. They go on the Dr. Oz show or whatever. Guess what? They're going to outsell you because they have more authority, more fame, more influence. So maybe you have a lot of competitors, but they don't have the most famous whatever business you want to be in. So that's one thing to think about. Are you going to win on influence and authority? Because you can build your influence and authority. And when you subscribe to this channel, I'm going to teach you how to build influence and authority in the best way possible on the internet because that's the ultimate way to do it. You do it once and you're done. So let's talk about some of the other things. Are you going to win because you are going to build a stronger sales funnel than a competitor? Look at your competitors. Maybe they don't have a sales funnel. Maybe you don't know what a sales funnel is and you need to subscribe to this channel and learn all about sales funnels and marketing funnels. If your competitors have terrible marketing or no marketing or almost no marketing, congratulations, you can easily beat them out when you become good at marketing and sales. The purpose of all of this is to give you a lens to look at the world through so you know how you're gonna win. Are you gonna beat out your competitors on price? Are they offering a price that you can beat? Do you want to 
win on having the lowest priced everything, great. Maybe you can do that. Guess what? You're going to have to win in volume. If you don't want to have the best marketing or the most authority or you don't have first mover advantage, guess what? You might be able to win on having the cheapest price so everyone buys from you, but you're going to also have to have the most volume. Now on the flip side, you might also be able to win by having the most expensive price if you're the best. See, a lot of people associate highest price with the best. So if you have the highest price and you work on building your influence and authority, guess what? You can sell a lot less and still make a lot of money because you're winning on high price or you can also win on low price, just how I was talking before. So what's important here is I want you to ask yourself, why are your customers buying from the competitor? I just gave you a lot of reasons. Maybe there are some other ones. So I want you to investigate your competitors, look at what they're doing, and figure out how you're going to beat them based on these things. And this is what step number two is for. Do all this, and once you're done, pause the video right now. You can do that right now. And I want you to comment below how you're beating your competitors. Are you going to do it on price? Do you have first mover advantage? Are you going to do it on influence and authority? Are you going to do it on lowest price, highest price? What is it? This is important to think about because it's going to structure exactly the piece you need to put into your business to be successful. You just think about it, and then it's very obvious. It's right in front of your face. Oh, I forgot one other thing to add to this list from step number two, location. Are you going to beat out your competitors on location? Maybe you can open your business in a better location than they have. More people will see it, or maybe you're in a place that, say there's, I'll make a really bad example that doesn't make sense, but then it will make sense perfectly in your brain. Say you have no hairdressers in your town. You know people want hairdressers, you open a hair salon or whatever it's called. Boom, you're winning instantly. So that's impossible to do because everybody already has that type of business. But my point here is saying you can win on location. Guess what? You can win in location, on location, however you want to say it. You can do that in real life and you can also do that on the internet. Are you able to rank before your competitors? Guess what? If you're ranking before them, it's kind of like having the best real estate. So you can win alone on location and that's something you can do on the internet. You can subscribe to this channel and I can teach you the skills you need to rank high on the internet. It's I can't teach you the skills of buying a piece of real estate in the right location. That you're going to need to go somewhere else. But having the right location, whether online or offline, is another way you can beat out your competitors. So that's an important thing to think about on step number two. Okay, step number three. This is the third sheet of paper. This is very important too because step number two, we covered all the ways you can beat your competitors, how to, uh, not how to, but what to sell them, etc. You're going to look at that just by looking at them. Step number three, we're calling marketing. This, I want you to ask yourself, how and where are your competitors reaching their customers? Are they reaching them online? Are they reaching them in real life? Guess what? 30 years ago, if you were in the phone book, great. I don't think there are phone books anymore, so that's not going to help you. But what you want to do is look at where and how your competitors are reaching their customers. Because that's where you want to be and you want to be doing it better than them. Are they doing it on Yelp? Are they doing it on Google? Are they doing it on Instagram? If you're an Instagram influencer, you want to be on Instagram. You don't want to be on Yelp. If you're a local business, you probably want to be on Yelp and Google and Google Maps. I don't know where you want to be, 
but you will know exactly want where you want to be if you imagine that you're the prospect who wants to buy whatever it is that your competitors are selling and you start to research it. So all you need to do is do the research. You can pause the video and do it right now. You can check it out, look at where the research is and what you want to do there is just imagine that you're the prospect and then you want to take notes where your best competitors are reaching the prospect because that's where you're going to want to be. That's where you're going to want to build your marketing around that, your content around that, so that you get in front of customers. And these are skills that I can teach you. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now because these are really important things that you're going to need to do for your business. But first, you just need to figure out where your competitors are doing it, where the customers are, because that's going to give you the answer. How are your competitors? marketing their services. This is kind of like the same question, but it's very important to think about it. Are they doing it online? Are they doing it offline? Really think based on your research how they're doing it. Are they sending emails after the fact? I want you to go be a customer to your biggest competitors and look at how they're marketing to all of their customers. This is going to really give you an overview and it's going to give you the pieces that you need for your business to be a success. So this business plan is going to take a little bit of work to do the research, but when you're successful, it'll be pretty easy because you've looked at your competitors. They've done all the work for you. And if you don't have competitors, congratulations. Like I said, you're either about to become a millionaire or you have like the worst idea ever. Hey, I hope you liked the video. I know it's a little different, but looking at it this way will give you what is as close to guaranteed success as possible. So hit that like button, leave me a comment. I read the comments. Please hit the like button. I really would appreciate it. Anything you can do to get the engagement up on my channel is really awesome. And if you want to learn more great ideas for growing a business, transforming your life, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. And that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.